everyone and uh, welcome back to our uh, YouTube channel. We have uh, a new series which uh, we're gonna call Recruitment Secrets by Cornerstone. And uh, what we're we gonna do, we're just gonna talk about uh, some of our secrets, I guess. Yeah, and I think just some, um, some technical tips on uh, how to improve yourself as a recruiter. Um, we don't want to give all our secrets away. Of course, you yeah, have you to join Cornerstone you to work get it. it. You gotta yeah. work at Cornerstone to get the full secret package. But uh, yeah, a few hints, a few, few hints, hints, a few yeah. hints, yeah. It's how to get candidates excited about the jobs that you have. And um, I think it's a pretty key part of being a recruiter. Because sometimes, you know, you can represent a client which maybe isn't famous. If they move my desk one more time, then then I'm, then I'm quitting. Right, yep. or you know, isn't a household name, and we all know, especially in Japan, how, how brand conscious people are. And you know, and I think a lot of people out there in the market, you know, also are spamming candidates with job descriptions, right? Yeah, yeah, which are poorly written most of the yeah, time. Yeah, which are poorly written or, you know, may include things which kind of even, can, can even put the candidate off. So I think it's a real skill is to pick up the phone and get somebody excited about, about the job. And I never ask my clients to judge me on my winners. I ask them to judge me on my losers because I have so few. In most cases, I think, uh, I think personally that sometimes uh, job description can be actually an obstacle to you selling the job itself, right? 100%. Because of course, you know, if your client is, you know, Google, Amazon, Gucci, Prada, you know, they don't really need you to sell the job, you know, they get lots of applicants by themselves. Maybe not in Japan because it, the market labor is a bit, is a bit tight, <coughs> but uh, I think in general those brands, you know, they sell themselves really. It's the minor brand that actually they need a little bit more help from, uh, you know, a recruitment company like ourselves. And in that case, again, just presenting a job description uh, doesn't really help the candidate understand what the job is and also what is behind the job description, right? Who is working at yeah. that company, you know, what are the nuances about the job. I think, it's a big, I think that's a, a big part of this secret, and we're not going to go into too much detail, but a big part of this secret is that it's avoid the JD if you can. Um, I think I remember when I first started in, in recruitment, actually, we in England, we were not allowed to send job descriptions to yeah, candidates. Yeah, same, same, yeah, same, same. Not allowed. Um, and in Japan, I think, if you're recruiting here, it's even more of an obstacle. Candidates are a little more conservative, and they tend to look at the job description and think, what can I not do the, in this? Or what they don't have. Yeah, what I don't have. So see the job description as your enemy, not your friend. Um, if you really want to get buy-in from candidates, it should be based on you and how you particularly pitch it. Yeah. Right? I think that's the first really important thing to remember. And I think that the second point I like to <clears throat> maybe make, you know, when you're pitching, I think it's important you're excited about it. You yeah. know, like you certainly don't want to receive a call from a recruiter and this person uh, be miserable, <laughs> you know. Yeah. So I think your tone of voice, or if you meet someone in person and you sell it face to face, you know, your body language, the way you dress, I think the way you behave during that pitch, uh, whether it's verbal or non-verbal, is totally and really, really important, I think, in you in, at the end, getting a buy-in and a positive response from the candidate. I think that's it, positivity. And the last kind of general little tip I think I would add is, uh, don't assume anything, right? I think, you know, we've all been there where we've maybe been to a client meeting, first time we've met the client, and you walk in the office and you think, no, hell no. I, I, I wouldn't fancy working here, and maybe you meet the people and think, I don't, you know, don't really like the culture, personally. But it doesn't matter. You don't assume that other people feel the same as you do. And every single job that you pitch, you pitch it with that excitement and passion. Yeah, enthusiasm, yeah. Enthusiasm for it. You find the good points and you sell it. And if you do that, obviously there are a few more technical things which, which we're not going yeah. to talk about, but if you do that generally, you're going to have a much better, I think, success rate of getting candidates to apply for your clients. 